आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ द क्वेश्चन स्टेट A cell of EMF E and internal resistance R is connected across an external resistance R. Plot a graph showing the variation to potential difference across R versus R. So we have a cell and then we have to plot a graph between the potential difference across R versus the external resistance itself. So let's see. I'm pretty sure that everyone must be knowing this equation that is V is equal to E minus IR where IR is the potential drop through the resistance through the internal resistance and V is the potential difference across R and E is the EMF of the cell. So we have to plot a graph between this V and external resistance R but we don't see it here so we have to introduce external resistance r in this equation we can write it like v is equal to e minus c e is constant that is the em of the cell and r is constant that is the internal resistance of the cell but this thing is variable and the total current is variable so let's draw the circuit first which is something like this this is our cell This is our internal resistance. This is our external resistance. And we have something like this. This is R. This is R. And this is potential difference across R is V. And this is the EMF of the cell. Okay. So, the total current in this circuit will be given by EMF divided by the total resistance that is R plus R multiplied by R okay so if we bring this R in the denominator we'll have something like this that is E divided by R by R plus 1 this is our final equation see now talking about experimental results this thing and this thing is fixed like they are constants only the thing that is varying is V and R so talking about experimental results if we increase the value of R say from 0 to uh, say from 0 to 10 ohms the value of V also increases with the increase in R but this V value will be constant when it reaches the value of EMF Okay, I'll explain. So, for example, the value of E is 5 and the value of R is 3. Okay. So, if we if we put the value of R is equal to, say, 0.2 ohms, we'll see that we would be something else. Okay. Let's say 1 volt. If we increase the value of R continuously, this would also increase gradually gradually and then this V would stop where its potential difference becomes equal to the actual EMF that is 5 when this becomes 5 no matter how much we increase this this will be only 5 and in this equation you can see that if we put R is equal to infinity say internal resistance I mean external resistance is infinity if we increase the value and value and value and then R becomes infinity. Infinity divided by anything is infinity. So infinity plus 1 is also infinity. So E divided by infinity, anything divided by infinity is 0. So this term becomes 0. We can see that V is equal to E. That is when the value of R is so large, only then this potential difference will be equivalent to the EMF of the cell, which in this case was 5. So let's plot a graph. This is our V axis and this is our R axis. So if we start from 0, it would increase to a point when it becomes equal to the EMF 
of the cell. So the graph will be something like this. It keeps on increasing but then becomes constant. Well, it's obvious because the total EMF is the maximum value that could be across this resistor. It cannot be like more than that, right? Thank you. Class 6 to 12 sale ke need IIT JE mains or advanced ke level tak. 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa. Aaj hi download kare doubt net app ya WhatsApp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 400 400 par.